Welcome back to Procreate for Beginners. Today I'm going to show you how to easily change colors of a flat PNG file. This file has no layers, it's just one solid layer that has the outline, the colors, the accents, like everything all in one layer. So to change colors of this very easily, you can click on this selection tool and then go to automatic. Make sure automatic is highlighted make sure add is highlighted, and then just click on the part that you would like to change the color of. So I'm gonna start with the top, and you'll see once I click on it, it highlights it. So that's how you'll know what has been selected. And you'll see nothing except this top part of the mushroom has been selected. So now I'm gonna choose a color, and I'm just gonna keep this pink color. And then you can go choose a brush, and when you click on brush, you'll notice the highlight goes away. But if you look closely, I'm not going to zoom in because I'm afraid I'll lose it. But if you look closely, you'll notice that everywhere that has not been selected has diagonal gray lines on it. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but when you have it on your iPad, you'll be able to see and then the part that has been selected does not have those lines. And that's how you'll know what you have selected and where you're going to draw. So then you can just start drawing on there and you can just color it in. And then now I have a, a pink mushroom instead of a red mushroom. If you try to draw anywhere else, it's not gonna draw anything just on the part that you selected. So then to deselect, you just click on the selection tool again. And then now you'll see if you draw, it's gonna draw on everything. So then you can choose another part of the mushroom and you can click on the selection tool, automatic and add, and then just click on the part you would like to select. And you'll notice when I click on the stem, it also clicks on this one part right here. And if you zoom in, you'll see that's because this line wasn't filled. So if I don't want that part to be colored in, I'm just gonna tap with two fingers to undo that. And then I'm gonna get off the selection tool and I'm gonna to go to my drawing tools. And then I'm gonna to go to this layer and I'm gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna close that gap right there. And then we'll go back to the selection tool and click on that and that just selects the mushroom stem now. You'll notice nothing else is open so it doesn't select everything. So then I'm gonna pick a color, I'm gonna choose purple, and then I'm gonna pick a brush, and I'm gonna go back to my shading brush, and now you'll see the gray lines again on everything except the stem, so I'm just gonna start coloring the stem in. And if you didn't want it a solid color, you could just lightly do some of it. You can shade it however you want, but it's only going to write on the selection. So then to deselect, click on the selection tool. And now this time, I'm going to select the underneath part. And I may have to do each little bitty, well, some of it. All right, if you accidentally click on something that you didn't mean to, you can just take two fingers and tap on the screen until you get the um, selections deselected. And then, whoops. Just keep clicking on the parts you want to change the colors. I did it again. It's hard to do. These are so tiny. This may not have been the best example, but if you have a lot of little details, you may have to go in. And then sometimes they just randomly unselect themselves, so you just select them again. Okay, now I have all of that underneath selected, so I'm going to choose a color. And I'm gonna do this teal color and then back to the brush. And then I'm going to color that in. And then click the selection tool. And now the last part I'm going to change the color of are the little dots up here. So I'm gonna click on the selection tool and then I'm going to start selecting these tiny little dots. Oops, let me zoom in, make that a little easier. See, they randomly jump around sometimes, but this saves a lot of time 
and you don't have to have layered files. You can do this with any PNG file. Okay, so now I'm going to click on a color. Let's do yellow gold. And then click on a brush. And there's the diagonal lines on everything except the dots. And then I'm just going to, I should have picked a different color. You can't see that one. Let's do red. There we go. And then click your selection tool again. And now we have a very colorful mushroom. And we did this all from one layer of a PNG file. So you could do this on any of the Happy Doodles files and you don't even need a layered file to do this. Okay, I hope that was helpful and thank you for watching.